Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to be replacing the transmission fluid in a 2009-2012 RAD4 with a 2.5 liter engine. And now, you can basically do this little technique that I'm going to show you. It's very easy to do, uh, basically on any Toyota or any car that has a dipstick. It has to have the dipstick. If it doesn't have the dipstick, it's going to be a different situation, different method to doing it. All right, so this can go for the Camry, the... Uh, any Toyota model that has a dipstick to replace the fluid. Of course, it may be, if it's a different model, it may be in different locations, but if it has a dipstick, they're all the same, basically. All right, first thing you do, take the dipstick out. All right. Now, you can see that that is supposed to be red. It's not burnt, but um, it's dirty. And of course, you check the transmission fluid with the engine running, but it doesn't matter since we're just going to drain it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get underneath and drain it. And what you're going to do is you're going to have 10 millimeter bolts here, here, here. Uh, in the back, these are going to be clips that go all the way in the back. Now, you could take the whole thing down if you want it. It's, 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 you could do it that way. I'm not going to do it that way. But... Um, I'm just going to bend this out of the way because what we're looking for is right there. That's a hex drive uh, 10 millimeter. You have to crack that loose and that's how you drain it out. All right. And what I like to do is get a pan that has, see it shows you how many quarts you're taking out. And whatever you take out, let it drip like for like about five minutes. And whatever you take out, all right. Um, well, in this case, this, this car is a little bit overfilled, so whatever you take out, put a quart less, okay? So let's say you take out three quarts of uh, tranny fluid, put two quarts in, then we're going to start it up and check the level. So that's what I'm going to do now. And we let it drain. And like I said, about five minutes, let it drain. Now, you can go further and take, it, take the oil pan off and do the filter. But this video is just about draining refill. So we'll just like I said, let's wait. And then we'll just tighten up that uh, that washer again. Unless the washer is distorted or, or ripped or broken, you can reuse it. Like this one, you see? It's not ripped or nothing. Just clean it all up. Spray it, clean it up nice. And you can reuse it. No big deal. All right, we see around here, we got about four quarts. All right. And um, we're going to put, like I said, I'm going to put three and a half quarts in because this transmission was overfilled. But if yours wasn't overfilled, whatever you take out, you'll put fresh in. And you tighten the uh, bolt underneath and hit it with some carburetor cleaner and spray it so it's nice and dry so you can detect if there's any leaks once you start it up. All right, we're not going to put the uh, pan cover, this cover back on right now. We're just going to like just... Anyhow, secure it up so it doesn't get destroyed when you lower the car, and we're going to fill it up now. And we fill it from the same port that you check it from, where the, where the fill uh, dipstick goes in, all right? And you fill it up slow because it's going to burp, all right? There's a, a vent in the transmission, but sometimes it gets air pockets, and it may burp up and, co and go all over the place. So pour it in. Don't let it fill up over here. Just pour it in. Enough that it's around this area as you're filling it. Don't let it fill all the way up, like I said. And we're going to put what we took out in. Now, if you're working on a, a RAD4, uh, a 2009 to 2012, it takes a Dextron 6, all right? Or you can use Toyota transmission fluid. It depends what, you know, whatever one you want to use. I recommend using the uh, Toyota, but you can use uh, Dextron 6. That's fine. Okay, so now after you uh, fill it, you can leave the dipstick out, clean it. Uh, we're going to start the car, run it through the gears, and then check it. And now you're supposed to be in the driver's side with the brake pedal pressed, with the brakes on. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put it in. Let me do it this way. You put it in neutral first. Five seconds. Then you go all the way down. To low or first gear whatever it is five seconds you go all the way back up to neutral okay then you go to the second gear all right five seconds then you go in neutral then you go to third 
five seconds, neutral, then you go to fourth, neutral, then reverse, 10 seconds. Eight, nine, 10, then you go reverse, then you put it in park. Engine running, and then we check where the fluid level is. What you want to do when you're first pouring in the tranny fluid, you may want to scrape it up and down and then wipe it out so it's more accurate when you take it out. And you see where it is. Let me wipe it out again. And, well, it's been heating up a little bit, but here's the low and high for when the car is cold. You see that? Let me show you. All right. That's the low and high when the car is cold, and this is the low and high when it's hot. So it's been running a little bit. So if you just started up and did what I did, it should be at the top low mark. I mean cold mark, okay? It's a little bit higher, but the car's been running a little bit longer. And when it's really hot, like off the highway, you can easily check it. It should be between the top and the lower one. In the middle, normally at the top, don't overfill it, okay? And then you put it back in. If you're happy the way it is, you're good to go. All right, guys, and that's how you do it. Motor car not, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help everybody out as much as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.